Stop her speech off. If you have your Bibles this evening, turn to the book of John. John chapter 3. We're doing a Tuesday night service as well. So you know what? Might as well just start the whole uh, revival off now. John chapter 3. While you're turning there, I want to make mention of something. Lord, Lord, Lord. I feel the power of God on my heart. There are many men, there are many men and women that they don't know the Lord. There are, and there are more people that do, and there are some that do, but they want to rededicate their heart to the Lord. The Lord is telling me to do this right now. This is all we need. There's all we need. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory. Woo, I can feel that. The power of God is strong right now. Glory to God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Glory to God. <sighs> John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Glory to God. And I want to use for a subject everlasting life. Everlasting life is my subject this morning. This evening, excuse me. Everlasting life. Would you bow your heads, please? <clears throat> Father, as we come before you tonight, we do so in the name of Jesus. Lord, without you, we are nothing, and we can do nothing. Help me to deliver this word, which I feel you have given to me here today, to these people. Lord, touch some hearts, like you do with these other stations, like Jesus Image, like, like Jimmy Swaggart Ministries. Touch the hearts of others, man, of other men and women. Touch their hearts, Lord. And Lord, I'm asking that you would also anoint me to deliver the word and preach the word. And anoint them to hear and see and, and receive and understand. <clears throat> and we give you all the praise and glory. For you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. And we ask it in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said amen. And amen. <clears throat> I'm not going to take long. This is just a short message. That I believe the Lord has given to me. To preach tonight. But I want to take you back, if I can, take you back to the night. I want to take you, I want to take you back to, where do I want, to, oh yeah, the message that I have not, actually this was not prepared 
I had no time. The Lord had told me to, to, to this is the message to give to them today. So I had no time to prepare the message. So this is just off of the top, as they say. The subject matter that I feel God has given me today is a matter of salvation, but it's also about everlasting life. Because with God, all things are possible. Amen? So tonight, I just want to give you a brief little story of some things that have been happening in my life, but also about how I've, I've give. I think I gave you a message on the same thing, but uh, if I have not, I'm going to give this to you now. <sighs> my, my grandmother, she... I gave you a message about my grandmother and all that stuff, I think, but this is something new. Stop recording. Speech off. My grandmother was a godly woman. She would tell me whenever I would call her, we would talk about the Lord and she would speak about how that how her services would go cuz she lives she goes to a church in Florida Pensacola Florida is where she lives and a little uh, the, the church that she goes to, Hillcrest Baptist Church, that's the name of it. She always talks to me about how that I would love their music and I would have, how I, that I would believe in what they, the, like, I would love it. She thinks that it would bring me to tears and I believe it. I believe it. If I can feel the Holy Spirit in any music, it's perfect. It's perfect. One night, she was speaking to my, my friend. One of my friends, well, really, it's someone that, um, how do I say it? Well, she lived, she was speaking to a friend of mine, and I'm going to name him nameless, and I'm not going to go into all of it, but she was speaking about the Bible, and I could just sense the Spirit of God just moving, but she knew what she was talking about. And she knew the Lord. I have no doubt about it. She was... As I said, she was a godly man, a woman. One of the godliest I ever knew. She... She and my friend that I went to Perkins School for the Blind, and I'll bring that up in a little bit. She and I... He and I, well, she and my friend, who I'm also going to name nameless, so that, just so I can give them privacy, they have something in common. They believed in the Lord. And I believe that there's going to be a move of God in these services, and I don't know if there's ever going to be a time that I get to show these to any one of them today or soon. But my plan, and if y'all can help me with this, is to take this message. Help me to take the message to the world. The whole world. 
If the whole world can feel what I'm talking about in these messages, I feel the power of God will be moving in a way that I could never have imagined it. And I'm sitting down right now, but I'm telling you right now, I just got to dance right now. I'm going, I'm, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> There's going to be a move of God like never before. Anyway, I want to take you back. I don't really, I'm not a pastor, as I've stated many times before. However, I have put it, excuse me, I have put it into terms that we really, all I'm doing right now is just showing you how that Jesus Christ can save your soul. Every Tuesday night at this time, it's going to be one of those revivals where we're going to have a lot of talk about Jesus and about how that he works and how how his work has affected others. Tuesdays are going to be well whatever God wants them to be about. This time it just happened to be about salvation. But now all of a sudden I'm just feeling the power of God and the Lord has told me He's told me that there are millions of people on drugs and alcohol and pornography. <laughs> they don't know God. I'm not laughing because of that. I'm laughing because I have a funny thought. And not only, not a funny thought, but I have some good news and I feel great about it. Makes me want to shout about it. Makes me want to just, just, just lift my hands. Everybody just lift your hands and worship the King of Kings and Lord of Lords uh, as we come to this service today. Oh, Jesus, thank you Jesus. Glory to God. We have a great Savior, Jesus Christ. He can save your soul from sin. And if you believe that today, you can be saved from all of your sins. That's my goal here today. And if this has touched lives, if this has touched hearts, everywhere that, 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 that this is touching, if one heart gets brought up, if one heart gets so uh, it's saved, one soul gets saved, Jesus will save you. He will save you. Tomorrow's message, I'm not going to really get into that much today, but I'm going to be preaching out of the book of Acts tomorrow at the same time if I can get my technology up and running. Once I get my technology up and running, we'll be preaching the gospel again. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I can dance all over this building. I can dance all over this room if I have to. This is the base. This is where I am right now. But I feel the power of God. It may be cold in here, but I feel the warmth of God all over the place. Uh, I can feel it like no other can. Jesus is in this place tonight. Glory to God. <laughs> oh, I gotta hurry up. Gotta hurry up. I will say this though John was a Baptist he was called John the Baptist he wrote 
the great book of John that we read today. He also wrote the great book of Revelation. And at some point, we're going to be getting into that. But tonight is all about the salvation. The saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Are you following me? I hope so. There's a lot of people that don't know Jesus. But tonight, if you're listening, if you will be listening, you will hear the message that, that will come forth from my mouth. Would you bow your heads, please, as we close? Father, I've come, I've come before you tonight, and I do so in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Father, for your, your, your son. I thank you that because of him, we are saved. Because of the cross, we are saved. And because of all of what he has done, because of his dying on the cross, we are saved and delivered from all sins, past, present, and future. Father, we love you. And I would ask that all these people that are listening to this word right now, would they, they would feel the tu your touch, your touch that you that, that like they've never felt before. Tomorrow and, and today, let their day be of salvation. Let their day be of salvation for these people. If there are women and gentlemen, if, if there are ladies and gentlemen that are listening, that, that will be listening right now, and they want to be saved, and they need to be saved, they don't know you. They don't know who you are. They don't know what you've done. They don't have a Bible. They don't do that. They don't do any of that. Let today be their day for knowing who you are and what you you did on the cross. And I ask in Jesus' name, amen and amen. As your heads are bowed and your eyes are, and your eyes are closed, I pray that everyone here is saved tonight. I would pray that Everyone here has been born again. I'm going to ask you that are listening and watching and and hoping that I pray preach this message. I just I just um uploaded a sports pod uh, podcast as well. I wanted to make mention of that. I should have done that in the beginning. Um, so I hope you listen to that as well. Um, but I don't, I can't say for certain that you are saved and forgiven. <sighs> so I want all of you that are listening right now, I want, if you, if you have not, if you have not become a Christian yet, I want you to repeat these simple words. These simple words right now. Lord, please forgive me for your sins for, and for my sins. Forgive me for what I have done. Lord, I believe that your son died on the cross. And I believe that he is alive. And I accept him into you, my heart. And I believe that because of the cross, 
I am saved, healed, delivered, and born again. And I would ask that you would come into my heart. At this very moment. Amen. If I messed that up, you don't have to say, like, when, when I first said your, I meant to say my. So you don't have to say your. I'm asking that you wouldn't say your. <laughs> um, this is my first really time doing it. Well, second time, really. But um, if you have prayed that prayer, simple prayer, you have just become a Christian. I'm very, I thank God for it. So thank you for listening.